Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you're having a great day. Tim outside today. It is a uh, really beautiful day here in North Alabama. It's uh, 75, sunshine. It is a good day to be out looking at new construction. And that's where we are. We are, uh, we're in the city of Madison, actually in the heart of Madison. Right over here is what's known as the historical district, or as we call it, the hysterical district. And uh, this is a home that is being built by uh, Scott Kilgore, Kilgore Builders, on one of the uh, few lots in Madison that actually are available uh, to build on. And so this is a custom build by Scott. I want to show you around a little bit, kind of give you an idea of what you can get here in the city of Madison. This is uh, right around 3,400 square feet. It is a 4-3, I believe, with an office, a bonus room. Uh, the lot is about 0.4 acres. It goes all the way back to that tree. So a really good sized lot. And uh, it's gonna be a beautiful home. Uh, the plans were blessed by the Historical Society. So it is going to be uh, really, really pretty. This is a historical home or historic home here, more down there. But uh, I'm gonna give you a walk through and let you see exactly what you can get for $700,000 in a new build here in Madison, Alabama. So just looking at the outside, it's gonna be a really pretty garage here. Very large windows in this house. A lot of natural light. Gonna have a covered porch here. And we'll just uh, start by going in through the garage here. Large two-car garage. There we go. And we're just in the framing stage, but you should be able to get an idea of, of at least the layout. I will include uh, some elevation drawings that you can take a look at and uh, we'll let you see how it's gonna look after the fact. So we're in the garage. Garage, of course, steps up here and i believe the plan is to have a uh, a mud sink here a little uh, shoe cubby there with a bench and then here will be uh the laundry room right off of the garage that space there is actually where um to the hot water heater is going to go so coming through we come into the kitchen and this is huge a very big kitchen and again the uh one of the things i like most about this house is the size of the windows that are going in and uh, it's going to let in a lot of natural light uh going to have a big island this is the power run for the island the sink will go there and then here this will be the pantry fridge will go there and then a uh, countertop cabinet there be really nice does have an open floor plan the kitchen area here opens to the great room and again really really large uh, it's gonna have an 11 foot ceiling here and a covered porch you'll have a double uh, patio doors going out we love our, our covered porches here and this one could actually be screened in. It could, it could actually be enclosed as well. We put a split unit out here for heating and air. I'll show you the back of the lot while we're here. So of course, uh, this giant mound of dirt will go away. Tree there, could stay, couldn't. The property line again runs just past that tree there. So a really good sized lot. There's enough room back here for a pool pool house, storage shed, whatever you need. And you can see back here, there is nothing beyond back there. There is uh, a cotton field and that goes back uh, quite a ways to what's called uh, Browns Ferry Road, I believe. So it's gonna be very quiet back there. Let's go back in. So big porch, look at the size of this porch. All right, so back into the great room. This will be a, uh, a ventless fireplace right there in the corner. And then we've got an office. Again, look at the size of those windows. I mean, this is almost like being outside. 
big office there. All right, we've got um, four bedrooms. The master bedroom is down. And so uh, this area here, of course, that goes back to the kitchen. This is the foyer where you would come in the front door. What a nice day. All right, covered porch, which I love. Big fan of covered porches. Okay. So coming in the front door, the foyer is here. And then we'll go upstairs in just a minute. But if we come back through, this is the master. Again, good size. Look at the size of this master. A lot of traffic out here today. Busy, busy. All right, and then uh, from the master bedroom, we go into the master bath. We'll have uh, vanity, vanity, tub, shower, toilet room, and then a uh, good size closet. And again, it may be a little, uh, a little difficult. Let me change hands here to uh, to see how it is right now with the framing, but. I'll do another video probably next week or two because they're going to start sheetrocking at some point. All right, so we're going back. Love the smell of wood. Going upstairs. All right, so we get to the top of the stairs. Large uh, bonus area here. All right. Large bonus area, and then behind us here, still more. This can either be enclosed and used as closet space, or uh, you can leave it open and just kind of maybe put an office cubby there, possibly. All right, let's go this way. This is another bedroom. I don't have my selfie stick today, so my hand hurts. So this is over here. Again, big window, large bedroom. This one is actually uh, a second master because it does have its own closet and then it does have its own bathroom. All right, now this is gonna be the, the shared bathroom upstairs, but it's right off this bedroom. All right, so going this way, bedroom. And this bedroom has a Jack and Jill, or actually just a connecting bathroom. Vanity, toilet, tub shower. Goes through to the other room. Closet. <laughs> and then this is a bonus room that will be finished out. It would make a great media room, make a good playroom. Uh, I think we might also do some cubby storage between these uh, rafters here. Really nice size. All right. So there you go. We've got one, two, three bedrooms upstairs. Bonus room, which could also be a playroom. Bonus area here. And then as we go back downstairs, we have the master bedroom with ensuite down, an office, living room, dining area, kitchen, and uh, great room. So yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful house. Again, this house is being built uh, on Mill Road, 235 Mill Road. This is in uh, the heart of Madison, right near the historic district. And uh, it will be available, it's available now for purchase. This is a good time if you have been um, looking to build a house the stage this house is in now with the framing is a really great time for you to come in you can pick uh, your own finishes if you like uh, you can uh, tweak it we have one client who's talking about uh, putting in a charging station for his tesla in the garage so we can certainly do that for you so if you are interested in learning more about this house, my information is below. I'd be more than happy to uh, send you the plans, the specs, the elevations, 
so you can take a look and see exactly uh, how this home is going to look once it is completed. And uh, if you are looking to buy or sell anywhere here in North Alabama, um, don't forget we've got a team of uh, 70, 72 agents now who are ready to go to work for you. Of course, I will be involved in it every step of the way. And uh, if we can do anything for you, just let me know. And if you are looking to relocate to the area and you would like more information about relocation, uh, just let me know that as well. And I'd be happy to uh, get on the phone with you and uh, give you more information. So, hey guys, don't forget, if you like what we do on the channel, uh, do me a favor, like, subscribe, click the bell notification icon. That way, every time we do a video, you will be notified because God forbid you miss one of these videos because it is an entertainment value. All right, so, hey, that's it, guys. Get out there and make it a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.